Yo, behold the journey of life upon the narrow road. So many signs and waters yet to unfold. It may get bumpy, but don't fold. We all got a couple potholes in our souls. The conditions you can't control, the twists and turns, all the bridges and the trolls. It may seem you're always paying a toll. Keep going, roll on. At the very end, God will take that crooked roll and make you straight, make you whole. Heaven is the final destination, that's the goal. Go from street riding to walking the streets of gold. You best believe Christ, our crown, we should take hold. He's the clay that we mold. Family, I've, I've been reading and studying a lot in Revelation lately. And just take the time to read these scriptures, Revelation 6, 12, Mark 13, 32, Matthew 24, 29, and Joel 2, 10. But I want to talk about wormwood today with you, family. What is the meaning of wormwood in Revelation? Wormwood is the name of a star, big, big, big star in Revelation 8, 10, and 11. The third angel sounded his trumpet. See, we were talking about the sixth angel and I mean, like I said, these, these angels, they have a trumpet for each one, and there's seven of them, family. And the sixth trumpet, we know the Antichrist comes in. The real Lord, our real Lord comes back with fire in his eyes and the sword, the seventh trumpet, not before then. There is no such thing as a pre-trib family rapture. That has led so many people astray and it continues to lead people astray. But if you study the word of God, then you can see it for yourself. You don't need man or woman or a church building or anything like that to tell you. You just need the Holy Spirit. You just need to read the word for yourself, study it, pray, search it, and ask God to come into your heart and to show you the truth. But there's so many things that have to come to pass and that a lot of things that us as believers have to face as Christians, we may even have to face death if we're still alive at that time. I mean, are you willing to die for Jesus? Do you love Jesus that much where you're willing to get your head cut off? Anyway, family, the third angel sounded his trumpet and a great star blazing like a torch fell from the sky on third of the rivers and of the springs of the water. The name of the star is Wormwood. And the third of the waters turned bitter and many people died from the waters that had become bitter. This is the third. This is at the third of the trumpet's ju judgments, family, basically. This is the third one that's described in the book of Revelation. The seven trumpets basically are the judgments of the seventh seal. And you can read this in Revelation 8, 1 through 5. The first trumpet basically causes hail and fire that destroy much of the planet life in the world. The second, and that's in Revelation 8, 7, the second trumpet family brings about what seems to be like a meteor or a comet or heavenly, you know, bot, something hitting the oceans and causing death to one third of the world's sea life. That's in Revelation 8, 8 through 9. The third trumpet is similar to the second trumpet family. Don't get them confused, except it affects the world's lakes and rivers instead of the oceans. So that's in Revelation 8, 10, and 11. It will cause, a, like, basically a third part of all flesh, I mean, all fresh, any kind of good fresh water on earth, any, and I'm talking about every, any kind of water you can think of that's on this planet right now, which is a lot of water, will be turned bitter, and many people will die from drinking this water. You will not be able to drink this water. So know the difference between the second trumpet and the third trumpet family. The word wormwood is mentioned only in the New Testament family. It's not found anywhere else, but it appears um, eight times in the Old Testament. But in the New Testament, it's only, it's only one time. But in the Old Testament, it is mentioned eight different times. Each time is associated with bitterness, poison, and death. See how it all comes together from front to back? See how we should never check, you know, never cherry pick the scriptures, family. Never, never, ever. The Revelation passage may not be saying that the star fallen from earth will actually be called wormwood, but the inhabitants of the earth. So rather, its effects will be, you know, I guess wormwood would 
well known as a bitter herb in Bible times, right? So by naming the star Wormwood, we are told that its effects will be, you know, bitter, basically, like those herbs. The waters, it's going to make the waters bitter. So much that the water is going to be undrinkable, family. You're not going to be able to drink it. And it won't, you know, it won't be a matter of a simple bitter taste to the water. It will be literally poisonous, family. You won't be able to drink it at all. So if drinking water is unavailable to one-third of the Earth's population, it's easy to see how chaos and terror will ensue. It's going to be the result of that, right? Humans can only survive about three days, family. We, most of us know this without water. So all the inhabitants you know, of the affected areas will be so desperate, killing each other, you know, going to extremes to actually drink water that is not poisonous you know people will be willing to kill you over water when these times come causing deaths to thousands millions possibly i mean it's a lot of people are going to die during this time including a lot of followers of god um this is a prophecy that is yet to come in the last seven years of this age, you know, family, also known as the seventh, seventh, the um, seven, what is it, the week of Dan? Yeah, the week of Daniel. This is the only one of the natural disasters, family, and the seven trumpets that will usher in a rise, basically, of the Antichrist to world power very quickly, too. And you can read that. Read it for yourself. Read the whole chapter of Revelation 13 but also Revelation 8, so you can better understand Wormwood. But like I said, it's mentioned eight different times in the Old Testament, only mentioned once in the New Testament. But it all means the same. Bitter, poisonous, death. Doesn't bring it. It's not a good thing. It's not like a bright, shiny star that's going to bring magic and it's going to bring good things. Nah, bruh. It's, it's going to bring bring fire. Lots of fire. I've had dreams in the past of just everything being ablaze, everything being on fire. There was nowhere you could go that wasn't on fire. Maybe one day I, I can share some of these dreams. I'm not quite ready yet, but um, and visions and stuff I've experienced when I was a child, but I don't know. Um, but the Antichrist, the world power is going to be quick, family. So read Revelation 13, you'll see that for yourself. But since one third of the earth is already, you know, is destroyed by these trumpet judgments, this is only the partial, you know, judgment from God. His full raft, which is the seven vows or the seven um, bowls, whichever you prefer to call, is his full wrath is yet to be unleashed. So by that point, we're not appointed to this wrath. We're, we're told that. So we're not, you know, either all the Christians are going to be gone with the Lord or be dead at that point. It's going to be, you know, the full wrath is going to be for the wicked, for Satan and his fallen angels and anyone who did not repent. Anyone that was a lukewarm Christian, anyone that was, you know, not really fully living for God, anyone that was unbelieving, that never even tried to believe in God. The full raft is reserved for them, but it is not for us. We are not appointed his full raft family. You've got to understand this. You're going to face trials and tribulations. This was Jesus's words. He told us this. But do not fear. You have nothing to be afraid of, no matter what you face. No matter what you face in this life, family. You're eternally sealed when when all these things take place you want to have that seal of god on your forehead you want to make sure you have that because a lot of people's hearts are going to fail them with the things that will come in the future and that's going to fall upon man and woman and child it's going to fall upon the humans fall upon this earth it's going to be refined by fire and that is the truth of god that's absolute truth. That's not my truth. That is the truth. I pray that 
the veil be lifted of many. Because a lot of people are asleep. You know, a lot of people are falling for doctrines of demons nowadays. And, you know, it's, it, 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 it makes me weary sometimes. But the Lord's like, you know, just look, carry on. Carry on. I just want to hear good and faithful servant. That's, that's my goal in life. I don't have really many other goals besides like loving and taking care of my family, getting my family, my friends, and my brothers, sisters to the kingdom of God. I love the Lord so much. And I know he loves each and every one of you just as much as he loves me. I know he's given us time in these days, family, time for us to repent, time for us to turn away, time for us to finally get our lives right. Because so many of us, including myself, have been living wrong for years. And it's time to stand up and stand up boldly for Christ. He deserves it. He deserves it. I love you guys.